Hi everyone, my name is Sparkle. Welcome, this is gonna be a 30 minute flow. So laying back, feet hips width apart, arms by your sides, inhale. To bridge with the arms overhead, exhale. Sinking the movement and the breath up so that the hands and the hips touch at the same moment. Inhale, waving the spine into the air as much as you can, the hips into the air, exhale. Lengthening it as the wave goes back down. So you're envisioning or making a wish for whatever it is that you define as your best life today. So that as you move, you're moving with that clear vision of how you'd like to be. And I love to think of it as like your ideal day. One more breath, inhale. Exhale. Let's take happy baby. So draw the knees in, stretch the legs up, and then grabbing the outside edges of the feet, rock a little side to side. You can even make that lip fluttering sound with me. Draw the right foot all the way in towards your low belly, extending the left leg out. And then other side, left heel tucks in towards your low belly, right leg extends. Still the same process. So as we move into different areas of our body and discover different sensations, it's the same concept of holding your vision and using your breath to sort of bring that vision or imagination with you through all this sensation. So on an inhale, bring your feet all the way together and stretch your tailbone forward and down. On an exhale, we're gonna open the feet past happy baby and go out. So we're basically doing both legs at once, opening and closing. So inhale, feet together, roll your thighs away from your torso. Exhale, extend the heels wider than your mat off to either side. We'll do this a couple more times. Inhale, try to lift the low back on the inhale. Breathing into the heart. Exhale, feet widen as much as feels good with respect to your inner thighs. And two more deepest breaths of the day. One more time. Inhale. Keep the hands on the feet. We're going to rock along the length of the spine and try to rock all the way to seated with the uh, hands still on the feet. So do what you can. If it all falls apart, that's okay. So go all the way up and then go straight into boat pose. The legs go forward. You can release your feet, legs in the air, 45 degrees. Take a deep breath in with the arms overhead in line with the spine. And then on an exhale, let's twist to the left. So the right elbow goes outside the left knee. Inhale, heart lifts. Palms connect overhead in prayer, and exhale to the right. And we'll go back and forth like this a few times. Turning your breath, so you're fully supporting this movement, this demand with your breath. So it's a way of building your power because now there's a need for it, right? So put some steam into your breath. We're warming up. 
One more time each side. Inhale. Feet on the ground. Lift up through the chest. Bring the hands behind you. Rock a little side to side. Roll the shoulders back and take a deep inhale. From the front of the heart, reaching up as much as you can. And we'll take one exhale to fold forward. So just walk your hands however much feels good. As your inhale comes, catch that wave. We're going back to down dog. Heels up on the inhale. Heels down on the exhale. Inhale, reach your right leg up to the sky. Exhale, step the right foot through between the hands. Bring the back knee down and flowing with the breath. Inhale, heart, hands to the sky. Exhale, hands down. We're gonna pivot to the left. So you're gonna walk your hands all the way to the back edge of the mat, sweeping the left shin behind you. And we'll get used to this movement. We'll do it several times. So inhale, reach the right arm up to the sky. So we're going all the way to the back of the mat now. On an inhale, come up onto the left fingertips and then we're gonna go all the way up to gate pose. So big breath in, arms overhead. Exhale, right hand goes down the right leg. So that's at the front of the mat. Take a deep breath in, lifting through the chest. And exhale, pyramid pose at the front of the mat. So the hands come down. You swing your left foot back behind you. Lift the left knee, lift the front heel. Peel the front foot more in towards your face. One more breath. Back knee down, lunging, arms to the sky. So the wave of the inhale carries you up and exhale carries you all the way back down to, to down dog. We'll do the other side, left leg to the sky. Exhale, step between the hands, back knee down, inhale, arms up. All right, so on the exhale, we're gonna catch the wave going all the way to the back edge of the mat. So the hands come down, right foot behind you, Left foot flat, inhale. Left arm overhead off the back edge of the mat. Take a breath here, turning. Low belly to the sky. Gazing down, come up on the fingertips. And as soon as you're ready, we're going spine vertical. Prayer overhead. Exhale, gate pose. So the left hand goes down the left leg. Inhale, turn your low belly towards the back of the mat. Take a deep breath in, into the top fingertips. And exhale. Pyramid pose. So hands frame the front foot. Lift the back knee. Back foot's on the mat again. Shift the weight back. Peel the front foot. Really get the center of gravity back. So fill the back plane of the pelvis out a little bit more. Putting your energy there. Moving back in space. Inhale, big wave. Low lunge, knee down, arms up. And exhale, plank pose. And lower. Inhale, cobra, or upward facing dog. Let's do some forward head circles here. So exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, left ear, left shoulder. Exhale, and chin to chest. It's a crescent moon shape we're making with the head. So each inhale, you roll the head forward and then to one side. Each exhale, the head returns. Chin to chest. Down dog. Inhale, look forward. And exhale, we're gonna hop all the way through back to boat pose. So you can 
step and plop or hop or however you want to do it. I'm going to hop feet and then here I am right back. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, right elbow, left knee like we did. Inhale. A couple more times. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. The key is to still have the breath as long and smooth and rich as it would be in an easier moment. Inhale to the right. Inhale up to center, palms in prayer overhead. Exhale, plant the feet, reverse table. We'll do just one. So feet hips width apart, lift up through the hips. Exhale, draw the knees into the chest, rock up to seated and all the way into a forward fold at the front of the mat. Bring hands to your shins, lengthen your heart forward and exhale fold. We can take the uh, shoulders opening a little bit more, interlace the hands behind you, send the knuckles up and over. <sighs> Release the hands, feet together, inhale, flat back. Exhale, we're gonna hop back and lower to the ground. Rolling the shoulder blades under the back. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. And exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, right foot between the hands. Let's take warrior one feet. So the back toes turn out, the heel comes down, bend into the front knee deeply, sweep the arms to the sky. Exhale, interlace the hands behind the pelvis. Roll the shoulders back towards each other. Lift up through the heart. We're gonna dive down inside the front leg. You can see how much you can sweep inside the leg, maybe even bringing the arms up and over with the fingers still interlaced. Inhale, lengthen your heart forward. Sweep the arms up to the sky. Warrior one and warrior two on an exhale. Inhale, take the right hand down, the left arm up. So we're going the front arm towards the front edge of the mat down and then up the back of the spine. So I'm going towards Gomukhasana with the arms. If you can connect the hands, great. If not, no worries. Just hanging on somewhere that you feel a stretch in the right shoulder is good. Make sure that your stretch is in a sweet spot where it feels breathable. One more deep breath in. God, it's good stuff, right? Inhale, release. We're gonna go reverse warrior two now. So left hand goes down the back leg, right arm up and over, all the way up and over, all the way up the back edge of the mat. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down, back knee down. And we'll do a little twisting, low lunge, arms to the sky. Exhale, right hand back, left hand forward. So we're on this sort of horizon line with the arms. Inhale, right hand down, left arm up. Keep breathing and widening from the back of the pelvis through the back hip. So you're widening the left hip. Inhale, lift up through the heart, through the top hand a little more. And exhale, cross your left elbow, cross the knee, hands in prayer. Lift your heart in line with your hands, gazing up towards the sky. One more deep breath. Exhale, hands down. 
Pyramid pose, lift the back knee, shift back. Pull the front toes back towards you. And then we're gonna do triangle. So turn the back toes all the way out. Reach the left arm up to the sky. So this is where that block might come in really handy, putting it under the right hand. And stretching up, take the top arm all the way overhead. We gotta get these side bends in as much as we can. One more deep breath. Lengthen through the front of the heart. Exhale. Plank and lower. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. All right, left side to the sky with the left foot. Exhale, step it through. We've got warrior one, back toes turn out. Front thigh sits deep, arms up. So every movement, especially with these flowy practices, we wanna be catching the wave of the breath rather than ahead of it or behind it which means that when we practice together in a group, inhale, lift through the chest, we have to be honoring the individual pacing. So going into warrior one with the heart low, inside the front thigh, taking the arms up and overhead. Inhale, sweep up, arms to the sky, warrior two. All right, let's get that shoulder stretch. Left hand down, right arm up, and then move the hands. They sort of wiggle towards each other without gripping or force. See if they can connect. Otherwise, just getting in the in the right direction is enough. Inhale, lift up through the chest. Start to move the heart back in space to open up through the left shoulder. So the hips go forward, the heart goes up and back. And again, hips go forward, heart goes up and back. Inhale, release the hands, reverse warrior two. Left hand all the way up and back to the sky. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down, pyramid pose. So lean back, pull the left foot in towards you. Lift the back thigh. So you're gonna press the back thigh up and back in space, kind of like you're pressing your leg into the hamstring, up into the back of the pelvis. Pull the front toes back a little bit more. And then exhale, turn the back toes. We'll set up for triangle. So I'm moving my block under my left hand now. Sweep the right arm to the sky. I don't always practice triangle with a block, but I do think it gives a little bit of a different perspective. So it's not really about whether how flexible you are, it's about what kind of perspective it offers. So take the top arm all the way overhead. Now lengthen your heart away from the pelvis. One more deep breath in. And exhale, fold. We'll go back into that low lunge. So the back knee comes down. Soon as your inhale arrives, sweep the arms up to the sky. And then exhale, left hand back, right hand forward. Here we are. And we're gonna take this into a side bend. So the back hand goes to the back of the pelvis, down to the back leg, to the IT band if you can reach it. Now we set this up by pressing, you wanna make sure that the back foot, so mine was a little bit crossed, which I can see. I want the ankle right behind the knee in line on the mat. 
From there, press the shin down, widen the right hip, lift up from the low belly up into the heart. Then exhale, we're gonna hook across. So right elbow outside the left knee. Inhale, lift up through the chest. Grow a little bit taller. So we want to grow from the low belly here in the twist. Fill out through the upper back between the shoulder blades, even taking the tops of the ears back. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, plank. And exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra, or upward facing dog. Oh, lordy. Down dog. Inhale, gaze forward, and exhale, bend the knees. We're gonna do a low profile down dog. So the heels lift a lot, and you get as low as you can. Squeeze the knees under you more, getting the hips really low. All right, and then with lightness, we're gonna land at the front of the mat, feet between the hands. Lengthen, hands to shins, and exhale, fold. <sighs> Inhale, bend the knees. Let's go back to boat pose one more time. Legs go forward. <sighs> Inhale, arms to the sky, and exhale, walk the hips forward. Let's go on our backs. Stretch the right leg out, just the left knee draws in. Take the left leg into half happy baby. Now extend. So you want to grow taller from the middle of the pelvis through the right leg. So from the pelvis, reach through the surface of the right thigh, reach through the right shin. And then see if you can open the left leg out to the left as much as you can. If you can keep the right thigh glued to the ground, reach the right arm to the sky, take it overhead. Inhale, left leg to the sky. We're gonna switch so the right hand grabs the left foot with the knee bent or the leg straight, or you can grab the outside of the knee either way. Bend the right foot, lift the pelvis, and then we're gonna put the outside of the right hip on the midline of the mat. So you have to lift, swing your hips to the left and have the right hip land first. Then stretch the leg out, the right leg, and take the left leg all the way over for a twist. Left arm overhead. Slowly open, you're like a sundial with this left arm. Love that. Arm moves as slow and gradual as like you're watching a sundial. Taking the arm all the way out to the side. Energize through the right leg. That's the, the leg extending off the front edge of the mat. Walk that knee back in space. Bend the knee. See if you can reach the left hand to the foot. Oh, Lord. 
So left hand, right foot here. Lengthen through your chest. And take the legs more in their own direction. So from the pelvis, you stretch through the left leg, which is crossing the body to the right. And from the pelvis through the, the front knee, See if you can walk that knee back in space like an inch, more towards the front left corner of the mat. Take a deep breath in. And then on your next inhale, expanding all the way out of the pose for the other side. We start in half happy baby, left leg goes out, right hand outside edge of the right foot. Extend the left thigh forward. So this whole sequence, in fact, we want our whole practice overall to be very um, personalized, able to personalize the poses. So with your happy baby, you wanna slowly take the leg out to the right. The knee does not have to straighten. In fact, I, I really try to rarely say straighten the knee because it's really that we want an extension of energy from the pelvis through the leg rather than the knee being, you know, the knee straightening being the goal or the knee extending being the goal. So more importantly or more from the root of the practice is the foundation in the pelvis extending through the center of the heel inhale take it up to the sky bend the left leg lift through the pelvis we're going to put this left hip on the midline of the mat and then extend the left leg forward again take the right leg all the way across Energize the front leg, so that's your bottom hip here. Lift up, shift the hip back, and then we're going to find that slow sundial that opens up across the heart. So take the right arm all the way overhead, reaching off the back edge of the mat. And slowly opening it to the right. Each inhale, we want to be putting length into the low belly and three-dimensionally into the low belly, the whole chest. Awareness back to the left leg. Walk the left knee back a little bit, so like an inch or two back in space, and then bend the knee. See if you can grab the outside edge of the left foot. And then we just kind of, once you get, if you can get the foot, or you can even use a strap, releasing back down and re-lengthening from the pelvis up through the heart. And the sundial feeling can still be here even though the hand is occupied. Gazing to the right. And on an inhale, slowly release your grip and unwind into Shavasana. Relaxing all the effort, all the energy in the body as 
gracefully and completely as we can, letting all the effort dissolve. One more deep breath. Slowly bending the knees and rolling to your left side, coming up to seated. Take a personal moment of closure with your hands in prayer. I hope that this 30 minute practice can help to inspire you to carve out some time so that it becomes a part of your daily life because we are what we do daily. Thanks so much for sharing this experience with me. Namaste. Flying too close to the sun Flying too close to the sun